getting towards the uh, end of digesting uh, a bit more of the uh, statement. Ben, what more uh, from that statement stands out to you? Well, you're, you're right to recap just briefly, Lewis, why he's such an important person to Rishi Sunak. And I think that is worth underlining. You know, he was one of the Prime Minister's key backers back in the summer last year when the Tory party was in turmoil. Dominic Raab uh, was one of the main figureheads of uh, Rishi Sunak's first attempt to become Prime Minister and then a big cheerleader for him uh, the second time around. Uh, the, Rish the Prime Minister will not want it to have uh, seen him go from government. Reading further into this letter, it's interesting. Uh, Dominic Raab said that... Mr. Tolley, Adam Tolley, concluded I had not once in four and a half years sworn or shouted at anyone, let alone thrown anything or otherwise physically intimidated anyone, nor intentionally sought to belittle anyone. He says, I'm genuinely sorry for any unintended stress or offence uh, that any officials felt as a result of the PACE standards and challenges that I brought to the Ministry of Justice. That, however, is what the public expects. And he goes on to say that by setting the threshold for bullying so low, this inquiry, he says, has set a dangerous precedent and it will encourage spurious complaints against ministers and having a chilling effect on those driving change on behalf of the government. So clearly, there have, in his view, there have been significant enough questions about his conduct and his behaviour to uh, trigger his resignation. But it's quite a defiant resignation letter, this. I think he feels quite hard done by, uh, but he ends by saying that he remains fully supportive of the Prime Minister and the government. And just remind us, Ben, if you will, the original complaints and the source of the complaints and the timeline here. Well, we know that uh, Adam Tolley was looking at uh, eight complaints across uh, three government departments that Mr Raab has worked in over the last uh, three or four years. One related to his time at the Department of Exiting the EU, the Brexit Department, when he was Brexit Secretary. Another complaint, uh, at least one complaint, was from uh, the Foreign Office when he was Foreign Secretary. And there were complaints, too, from the Ministry of Justice, a department he served in uh, before, during Boris Johnson's premiership, uh, he was sacked from that job by Liz Truss and then Rishi Sunak brought him back to the Ministry of Justice uh, in October last year. So those are the departments that uh, the complaints have come from. And I think it was at least two dozen officials that uh, I think added their voices to those formal complaints. And many of those gave evidence to Adam Tolley in the course of this four month long investigation. I mean, this has taken up a, a lot of time uh, and therefore perhaps it wasn't surprising considering the, the, you know, the, the, the thickness of the report that the Prime Minister and Mr Raab took 24 hours to digest it and to come to this conclusion. But I think the Prime Minister will be perhaps relieved that uh, Dominic Raab has decided to walk rather uh, than wait for Rishi Sunak to make a judgment himself about whether or not he should be sacked. Uh, ben Wright uh, there in Westminster, thank you so much for giving us your immediate reaction to that so quickly. I will let you just take a moment to uh, uh, gather your thoughts and uh, read through that statement again. If you are just joining us, a pretty significant moment here uh, in the UK.